but look at that right there, gigantic cicada killer wasp. <laughs> They're excited. They're like, are we about to see a sting video live? And I said, yeah, I'll I treat you boys. You see that stinger right there? That is huge. That is a gigantic stinger. Are you guys seeing that? Let's see, shall we? Let's see. Yeah. You guys ready? Oh, oh. Hey folks, you probably weren't expecting to see me. It's me, Jack from the future, as you can tell. My beard is shaved and I have my real ring on instead of my silicone ring. Now, I have just gone entirely through editing the Cicada Killer Wasp Sting video, okay? Um, upon editing, I was like, hmm, something doesn't look right. Because, of course, you know, number one, the sting didn't really hurt, but surprise, surprise, you're on Jack's World of Wildlife, the stings never hurt me anyway. But something was feeling fishy. The cicada killer that we hastily grabbed and in the heat of the moment made a spur of the moment sting video collab with the Wildlife Brothers was sadly a male. And what we thought was a stinger was in fact a wasp's penis. So we spent 20 minutes coercing a wasp into poking our arms with its penis instead of an actual stinger. But I felt that the video was so good and so solid and we had such a great time. I'm going to release it anyway. And let this just be a message to those who grab wasps too hastily without fully looking them over for all the dimorphic details that may differentiate themselves from male or female. Take a breath. Take a step back. Really verify that what you're about to film is in fact a female capable of stinging and not a male who's going to use a pseudo stinger, AKA penis, to trick the, I don't even know what, the people in the video, I guess. But I, it was fun. There was a lot of high energy. We were excited. We were flipping for salamanders, having a great time. And uh, stuff doesn't always work out, but I think it's a great video. We have lots of good information in there for you. So stay tuned for a sting fail. Um, being poked by a wasp penis for 20 minutes. So please enjoy. Go. All right, every. Oh. Go. Okay. Go. Okay. All right, everybody. All right, now you can go. <laughs> okay. Wait, restarted. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. All right. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna get ready. Okay. All right, everybody. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah. Are you rolling? Yes. Okay, that's great to hear. I'm so glad. Are you guys ready? Are you sure? Whoa. <laughs> Almost broke your ankle on that rock. <laughs> yeah. All right. Everybody ready? Yes. Okay. But we're not on camera, are we? Yes, we are on camera. Oh, but are you ready? My, minor are you minor are you, confusion. Is everybody ready? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. Okay. Give I mean, not emotionally. We can just scrap the episode. Give me a second. Just, just give me okay, a second okay. to compose one, myself. One Mississippi. <sighs> All right. I'm ready. Okay. All right, everybody. And welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, we just had a very interesting thing happen to all of us. We did. Uh, we are here with the Wildlife Brothers, and we are in Pennsylvania, and we were looking for salamanders. And so what we happened upon was quite a surprise. Uh, we have just walked up on a beautiful cicada killer wasp, and I've seen this comment a handful of times for me to take the sting of one. So I thought, why not do a sting video yeah. right here while we're looking for these really cool salamanders. So. Take a look at what we just observed and documented with the cicada killer wasp sting with the Wildlife Brothers. Ourselves. Oh. All right, I'm going. Oh. Look okay, guys, check this out. A surprise visitor. Come here. Oh, don't use up all your stinging power quite yet. Oh, no, she's about to come out. Oh, oh you want my hand in there or no? Yeah, that's fine. I want to get her out of this water. Oh, oh. there it is. 
Okay. She's probably full of water, but look at that right there. Gigantic cicada killer wasp. Nice. What a stunner. Absolutely. Now we're here with the Wildlife Brothers. How's it going? How's it going? And we are looking for salamanders. And I just look down and all of a sudden I see those iconic yellow bands along the abdomen of this little wasp. Take a look even, at that. I haven't even heard her namesake prey species. I haven't really heard the annual cicadas today. Not too much, but yeah. that's a stunning insect. Absolutely. That's a good size one. Well, are you guys interested to see what the sting of a cicada killer wasp is like? Yeah. Pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> They're excited. They're like, are we about to see a sting video live? And I said, yeah, I'll treat I you boys. This is as much a treat for us as it will be for you guys. Trust me on that one. Oh, man. Oh. This needs to be like a Patreon reward or something. Absolutely, right? That's a collab so sting video? Ooh. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I expect from this wasp. This venom is a paralyzing agent. It is designed to paralyze and incapacitate cicadas so that these wasps can hold them, drag them underground, and deposit their eggs on the petrified animal so that their larvae can eat at its leisure and grow into one of these fantastic little wasps. So I don't think the sting from this animal, I can see the stinger right now. She's agitated. You see that tip of her abdomen right there? That's a good sized stinger, nice and thick and juicy. Now I don't think that this is gonna be that painful of a sting, if I'm being honest. Um, but I've had a lot of people request this one. We've got a lot of sting videos that we're gonna be filming in the next two days with the Hornet King. Um, but I think that this is a, an opportunity that has simply presented itself it's to good us. Warm up, I think. Yeah, and I think that this will be good. So I'm actually going to break tradition and sting my right arm to leave my left arm open uh, for the Hornet King. So I'm gonna see if I actually have any tweezers. All right, so, I mean, I, I, let's just get it right into it. Let me see if I can snag her out. Look at that. You see that stinger right there? That is huge. That is a gigantic stinger. Are you guys seeing that? Oh my goodness. That stinger is massive. Oh, look at that face. She is gorgeous she is gorgeous and, indeed and we knew what it was oh. right away there's no mistaking that absolutely animal. not a lot of people mistake these for the um asian giant hornet during mm -hmm. the murder hornet scare and they also up here in the northeast mistake them for vespa crabra which is the european hornet which is a a long-term invasive species but uh let's see shall we let's do it you yeah. guys ready i'm gonna switch hands here so we're gonna test the sting of the beautiful cicada killer wasp. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Ooh, yeah, okay. Come on, get in there. Oh, look at the size of that stinger. Come on, get, get a good sting, girl. It's definitely a, a little bit of a pinch. Yeah. But not, I mean, okay, she's getting me a little bit. Her, her torso claws are actually super strong. Ooh, is she biting me? She's really kind of pulling on my skin as she's stinging. Okay, let's see. Come on, really get through the skin. The stinger is so large, I'm wondering if it's having trouble getting through the skin and I'm not getting a full, a full sting. Come on, come on. Just get in there, come on, get in there. Come it's on, okay. Dear. Come on, dear. Sting the crap out of me. Oh, that was a good little... Come on. It's so big. Look at that, guys. It's like a freaking, you know, dull thumbtack. She might even be having right. trouble getting that into my skin. Come on. Come on. Get in there. She's biting me. <laughs> and her tarsal claws are super sharp. Come on. Maybe do I need to put her in a thinner skinned area? I know, you're agitated. Oh, she's about to come right out into my hand here. This is how you get stung in the hand. 
Yeah. But she's really uh, mad. Sure. Do you think she'll fly away? I don't think so. She's being kind of strange. You're okay. I think she's, she's wet. full of, of what the what she might be doing is coming down here to, to get, you know, minerals and things from the water. And so her abdomen looks pretty distended. And so she's having a little bit of hard time kind of flying around. Now her stinger's still probing. Let's see. I would really like for you to sting me. Okay, come on. know if she's getting me or not. She might very well be getting you. Yeah, I mean, let's take a look at this other arm here. She'll calm down. We have another test subject. Yeah, I don't see that she's getting through the skin. I mean, she's trying to sting me here. See how her stingers are mm -hmm. tucked on my hand? She's almost using it as like a <laughs> prehensile tail kind of where right. she's... But that stinger is just so large and just not really, not really sharp, as far as I can tell. Which, which wouldn't, you know, entirely not make sense, as they're preying on really big cicadas that have these big kind of chinked, you know, abdomen pieces. So if she can just slip that under there and poke through the really soft tissue on the underbelly of those cicadas, she could easily envenomate. Let's try again. Is that a sting? Okay, that, oh yeah, that went through the skin there, but are you injecting much of anything? Hmm. Come on. Oh, there she goes again. Wow, well, she went into the skin. I'm not sure what else I can really even try. I can try a wildlife brother. We can try a wildlife brother. Let's see. My skin is soft and supple. I know what yeah. you mean about the thumbtack. She's just trying to like. It, I mean, it does feel like a dull thumbtack. It really. It, it you just can feels feel like something sharp. You can you. exactly. You can feel the physical pressure, but you can't. I'm not feeling anything in the way of a sting. That's no, fascinating. That, that is weird. So yeah. I'm not sure if that's uh, if that's just. You're okay, sweetheart. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, now she's really gonna try and get away. I mean. I can try again. I mean, I think she broke the skin over here, but you like your eyelid, <laughs> like the, the webbing web of my yeah, finger. Actually, that may I mean, not be a bad idea. She's trying to get up under me, right underneath my fingernail. Oh. That may play to her strengths. Yeah, evolutionarily. No, nothing. We can try. She's just really not wanting to. We can try what we always ask, uh, or what we always joke about. Please sting me. <laughs> I'm asking you. Please sting me. Please, please come on. I'm asking very politely. I think you're beautiful, and I would like you. I would like to understand and help them she's understand. Really Sorry. not wanting to sting. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Here. That is. I've got super really interesting. Yeah, really. All right. Moving on to Gage. Last. Second to last test subject. I mean, yeah. as always, I can feel a poke. Yeah. I don't know. It, nice and gentle with her, of course. I feel like something went in a little bit, but I mean, yeah, it's, that's it's, what it's, I felt like on this. And like this is, like, I mean, you can see here. Actually, I think I'm getting a little bit of a. I think it's like the pepsis. I really think that you know, being a paralytic agent, uh -huh. being a venom geared towards uh, subduing prey rather than actually, you know. A defensive, yeah, you know, pain-causing venom. We're just last, not feeling the venom. Last test subject. We're gonna see if she'll maybe fourth times the charm. Yeah, you never know. But I mean, I'm honestly, I'm, she's not even. I mean, she's trying to sting my finger. Look at that. Yeah, she's not. I, even I think she stung me. You think so? I think she got me. Yeah. But I mean, take a look here. Look at all these little pokes. Oh yeah. And you know, I can feel it's a little bit kind of sensitive there. Maybe, maybe. Maybe that's the extent of it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. We're always saying, oh, you know, a, a species of wasp or hornet that's, you know, primarily just parasitizing or, or, or paralyzing other insects. You know, why would they have a painful sting? Those mm -hmm. are adaptations that social wasps have to protect their larva, to protect their nest. But I mean, look at that. I mean, she can't even get through the skin. This is, this is the first time I've ever had something that is just 
honestly not adapted to sting in a defensive manner. Their, their stinger is almost exclusively used for them to take down and subdue cicadas. Yeah, yeah. I think the great takeaway there is this is not an animal to fear. They Absolutely really not. Beautiful. They're impressive animals. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to defensive capabilities, they're all non-existent. All fluff. That isn't that isn't to say that it isn't an animal to be respected. Absolutely, Absolutely true. All hymenopterans that have that stinging capability should be respected for it. But this girl just seems to be unable to sting the four of us at, at the very least <laughs> yeah and i mean it I, I think she definitely broke the skin on my arm at least twice but i mean you can see all these little pricks here or maybe you know maybe maybe that venom was injected and it just was not was not anything to be worried about i mean honestly it feels more like you know my arm kind of hurts from getting poked with this kind of thumbtack of a stinger almost i think it's safe to say i can move my arm you can move your arm yeah you're not you're not uh incapacitated in any no. way yeah well this has been really really interesting and of course sadly not the you know huge dramatic um showcase of a sting that i normally like to show everyone but i'm i'm really glad that we tried this really interesting cicada killer i might try another one again because we have them in texas just to see maybe this one she was down here at the water she's having a hard time flying maybe she's at the end of her life or something's wrong with her um but still a super interesting um insect to showcase yeah and a very cool animal to show in my hand which i'm not normally able to do because I don't like being stung on the hand. I like being stung on the arm. Understood. But I mean, you can see that. I mean, and it is kind of sensitive and a little itchy and all those little pricks. And right here, these two as well. Ow! These two as well were, you know, there's some discoloration there. So, I mean, in a very real possibility, we could have been, we could have been stung. Here's, yeah. some, here's some little pin pricks here. It's, I mean, it's possible that that's just the, um, the physical damage from mm -hmm. from a, oh, yeah. a blunt right little here. thumbtack sure mm -hmm. absolutely um but at the very least that that's that's you know subdermal you know penetration on some level which is more than enough for something you know a fraction of the size to inject the amount of venom that you would actually you know, feel i mean a fire ant stinger is going to be you know a thousandth the size of this animal and those can sting you no problem um i'd love actually if i may sure to absolutely try and hold her because this is a species. Take a pinch of the thorax to kind of keep her wings from sure. batting up against one another. Evan and I are lucky enough to live. This is in eastern Pennsylvania we're filming this. So we're fortunate enough to live in the range of this animal. This is a place we come all the time. But I've never had the opportunity to observe one up close. And of course, this is an inherently stressful encounter right. for her. Mm -hmm. But certainly not threatening in any way. We're being as gentle as possible. And getting to observe a really beautiful little wasp absolutely look at those mandibles up front if she'll stop buzzing you're okay sweetheart she she her her bark is a lot worse than her bite and by bark i mean her bite and by uh bark i mean her sting yeah she's really <laughs> she is trying to, to sting me on the finger there and it's just not happening but i mean take a look here now this little area it 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 almost does feel almost kind of numb yeah it does and look at that big discolored patch so i'm gonna say that that might that might be the effects of at least a mild envenomation i'm not gonna go out and say that you know finding her just kind of flopping around on this creek bank was was her you know pristine health condition certainly not. um but i do think that we got some level of an envenomation just because my body is definitely reacting to something that's going on more so than just the mechanical damage that you can see on these two little pokes which is what i did after i initially tried this area but you can see there's obviously some discoloration here and it does feel i mean it feels a little mildly numb mildly numb um so that's about what i was expecting on the very conservative side of you know is this actually going to do anything or is it going to be completely painless um but i think coupled with that giant stinger um, not really a disposition to go out of its way to defensively sting. Usually these will just flee. They don't have like a central nest full of larvae that they're protecting like our social wasps, like Vespula, yellow jackets, or, or polistes or paper wasps. Okay. So I don't think there's any reason for these animals to have an especially painful sting towards things like us, mammals, because their, their, their ecology is not really threatened by mammalian Absolutely. predation as much. 
take a look again at this. I mean, that is an impressive stinger there. That's that's the stinger just coming out of this abdomen. I will give her a lot of credit for the mobility of that abdomen there. She has a really impressive range, you can see there, and I didn't mean to aggravate her there, mm -hmm. but you can see how dexterous that abdomen is. And as Jack was talking about earlier, I imagine that aids her in getting underneath or at the very least through mm. the tougher exoskeleton of her cicada prey. Absolutely. Now, I have a question for you. Yeah. Are they, um, when they're feeding, mm. apart from stinging cicadas for their reproductive cycle, mm. are they frugivorous and florivorous? Yeah, I mean, and... essentially the same as, as a, a tarantula hawk. Um, so a lot of the adults are gonna be feeding on, you know, water and, um, you know, maybe some fruit nectar, fruit juices and things like that. And the larvae are what's requiring all that protein to kind of grow. Right. Exactly right. Um, a lot of these kind of parasitoid and, and, and um, kind of paralyzing wasps uh, are collecting this stuff for their larvae to grow. Because um, uh, that's true for a lot of hymenopterans. In mm -hmm. fact, a lot of ants, um, their, their larvae are the only ones that eat that protein. Right. And then the adults are feeding on, you know, water and nectar so and fruit juices. And there, there's the answer to the question my brother and I get all the time. Why are wasps important? Why do we need them? Can't we just get rid of them all? No, they're pollinators. Absolutely. Just like the honeybees that everyone mm -hmm. idolizes so much. Mm -hmm. Here's your pollinator, a native pollinator here mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania that everyone gives, I don't think anyone gives them credit. No, and, and two, you know, wasps in general, um, you know, of course aren't as effective pollinators as bees that are coated in all that fluff sure. to capture all that pollen. But Wasps also directly contribute to the management of species of caterpillars and things that will damage and eat our native plants and if kept uh, you know, out of check, can explode in their population, explode in their numbers and decimate native plant populations. So really all species of wasps fill that special little niche in their own environment. These ones in particular help manage our cicadas which feed on plant juices and things like that. So if there are too many, uh, they can, you know, drain and damage local um, native trees and wild and wild areas. Um, but it's really, really cool to. There's a little squirrel running over there. It's really, really cool to be able to get this close and test this really interesting little wasp. Take a look. Actually, you can see again that kind of discoloration, and it is a little numb. So I'm gonna say that this was a moderately successful sting test. And I do think that some amount of venom was injected and, and the pain was extremely minimal. I would say, honestly, the bulk of the pain came from that gigantic stinger yep. trying to poke through my skin. Um, but I'm, I'm really impressed by how, how painless this was. Um, but like I said, that's what I told you guys I thought was going to happen. That it was going to be pretty minimal. Um, I'm glad that we were able to test it. This is a really nice little... A really nice little there cicada go, killer wasp. Yeah, right. get, get a good one on there. <laughs> well, almost got him. Right on the lip. <laughs> I wonder if that would hurt. Actually, I'd be able to pick. It's a pretty soft part yeah. of your face there. I mean, I just feel the poke. I don't feel <laughs> any. I tried my best, guys. I yeah. tried my best to get you a good sting video. I think this is it. I mean, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a reaction yeah. of some kind, more so than what anyone else got. So I think yeah. I got the full tank. Um, but that's definitely a reaction there. So we are going to thank our little cicada killer wasp and set her right back down where she was. Maybe she needs to digest a little bit of this water and kind of burn off some of that. There you go, honey. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh. Are you just gonna rest? That's fine with me. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, messed. All right. All right, let's see. Actually, should I put it on my nose? There you go. Oh, ho, ho. oh. All right, now I'm gonna let her get back to doing whatever she, it was she was doing. Set her down, let her rest. All right. Well, I would say that was a pretty interesting yeah. test. Most definitely. Um, not quite uh, what I always hope for. I hope no. for something really kind of climactic. Um, but um, uh, you can see here, actually, if I kind of stretch my skin a little bit, you can see one, two, three lighter areas. See those? I think that that's actually where venom was injected. Can you see those? Am I pointing them out here? See how if I kind of pull my skin, see those kind of lighter patches? Mm -hmm. I think that is indicative of a 
of an envenomation. So I do think we were envenomated. I say we, the Jack's World of Wildlife, we, the royal we, yep. meaning me. <laughs> um, and we tried it on every single person here, on Gage, on Harrison and Evan. Um, so I guess that's the extent of yeah. the cicada killer wasp. It's interesting. Um, it's another steam test for the books. Um, and it's a great collab. Yeah, this was a yeah. treat for us, our first ever sting video mm -hmm. in person. So that's super cool. Absolutely. So I think we had a good time and uh, I, I'm glad to verify that uh, yet another paralyzing venom wasp, uh, of course, was minimally um, painful. Uh, and of course, like I said, again, they're not social wasps. There's no real reason for them to even Most definitely. sting defensively. So if you see one of these and you're getting frightened, uh, just stand back and it'll it'll move along its way. Uh, they're really not dangerous and they help maintain uh, certain insect groups that do feed on our native plants. So they are beneficial, they're our friends. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. We had a great time. Uh, and the Wildlife Brothers, I'm sure, had an exciting time yes, being part of a sting so. video and getting to witness one. Um, so this was really, really cool. And then, like I said, I have even more sting videos coming uh, in the next few days. So if you're on my channel, stay tuned. If you're on Harrison and Evan's channel, pop on over and you're more than welcome to view those as well. Um, so I'm really excited to have this one under my belt. Of course, I may try it again just to see, just to verify, because uh, she was acting a little strange. Um, but I do think that I got a pretty decent envenomation. I can see already there's those three little inflamed spots. So I'm gonna update you guys as we go along and we're gonna see kind of the effects of what this sting has done. And um, we're gonna see what else we can find while we are out here. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the updates of this fantastic cicada killer wasp sting. Well, our lovely little lady, we were taking some pictures and she flew all the way up there. Um, so maybe she was just waterlogged and- uh, Pictures, Gage? And uh, I yeah, I got some pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I guess she was okay after all, yeah. so. And that's that's all she wrote. Yeah, so I'm glad that she's not sickened and maybe she was just a little waterlogged in her tummy. That's what we wanted to see. We <laughs> yeah. wanted to see her fly off and be okay. Absolutely, but take a look here. This is a few minutes afterward. Definitely interesting. Um, interest sting, but uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. So super interesting. What a cool encounter! Absolutely. Well, take a look, folks, right here. I think this is the full extent. We're about 24 hours after that uh, sting took place. You can see all the little individual pricks. It's still a little bit discolored, but uh, all in all, not not terrible by any means. Uh, I'm not really impressed by it, but I also am glad that my hypothesis was correct in that these paralyzing, you know, solitary wasps really have no need to have a painful sting. So this was super interesting. We actually tried this thing on quite a few people. We had Harrison and Evan from Wildlife Brothers try it. We had Gage try it. I tried it. Uh, I think I'm probably the only one who got envenomated because everybody else just had little pinpricks. But it was super interesting, super interesting test. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry it wasn't as climactic as I'm sure you hoped it would be. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, buy the new merchandise, join our channel memberships for exclusive behind the scenes content. <gasps> and be sure to tune in next time for the next episode of Jack's Little Wildlife.